Before he was the president's personal lawyer and fixer, before he was running a shadow foreign policy in Ukraine, before he was under federal investigation by his own office, Rudy Giuliani, the very important position on Team Trump as the president's first cybersecurity advisor. Rudy is very much of an expert on cybersecurity. It's been a very important thing to him and to what he does. And maybe I'll ask Rudy to say a few words. Well, thanks, Rudy. Thank you very, very much, Mr. President. First of all, congratulations on what is, in fact, a historic uh, start of an administration. He's literally sitting right in front of you. Oof. And just one week after that really inauspicious introduction as the president's expert on all things cyber, Rudy Giuliani's bona fides became apparent. According to NBC News, on February 7th, 2017, the president's cybersecurity advisor found himself standing in line outside an Apple store in San Francisco. The reason? He was locked out of his personal phone because he had entered the wrong password too many times. NBC News obtained a photo of the internal Apple store memo recording the interaction with Rudolph Giuliani. Quote, customer came in with an iPhone that had a forgotten passcode and the phone had been disabled. Apple had to erase his data and set it all up again. Very sloppy, a former Apple Store employee who was there on the day that Giuliani stopped by told NBC News. Trump had just named him as an informal advisor on cybersecurity, and here he couldn't even master the fundamentals of securing your own device. Actual experts in cybersecurity were even more horrified, one telling NBC News, there's no way he should be going to a commercial location to ask for that assistance. Another noting, it's unnerving to think this individual has access to the most powerful person in the world and that sensitive communications could be disclosed to people who should not have access to them. And Rudy Giuliani exposed those potentially sensitive communications years ago, at the very start of the Trump administration. The only reason we know about it now is because NBC News reporter Rich Shapiro dug up that Apple memo. That would be the same Rich Shapiro who Rudy Giuliani butt-dialed twice, leaving accidental voicemails about his need for cash and trashing the Bidens. Then, just over an hour ago, Giuliani responded to NBC News on Twitter in a tweet that he edited at least once with a comparison that doesn't make a ton of sense. All in all, a great choice for the top cybersecurity advisor to the president. Rudy is very much of an expert on cybersecurity. It's been a very important thing to him and to what he does. And maybe I'll ask Rudy to say a few words. Well, thanks, Rudy. Rudy. Thank you very, very much, Mr. President. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.